Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am making an amazing, delicious flatbread to go along with all the lovely curries you can find on my channel. And the, this is really delicious on its own as well. If you just want to have it so, with some chutney or some pickle uh, or lots of butter, it is super delicious and really easy to make. We don't need any yeast or loads of time to let it prove or rest. It's not that kind of a recipe. It's a super simple and also quick one. So while the dough is resting, you could probably prepare the curry you want to eat this with or some dal or sabji. And we just need a few things here. So I'm going to start by using some plain flour and that is 500 grams of plain flour in here a good teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of sugar also going to add one teaspoon of baking powder which is going to help give the rise to our breads which actually you can easily call them naan as well so just a mix and i have got here 100 ml of milk which i have warmed in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to get rid of this uh, kind of very cold milk to just bring it to kind of room temperature and i've got an egg so i might just add the egg into the milk and then add that into this so we are supposed to add all of it anyway so might as well do that i just want to say with all the flatbreads i've shared over the years different flowers absorb different amounts of water so once we've mixed in the 100 ml of milk and the egg I'm going to start adding the water. So just add a little at a time and you have to do this by hand. You really don't need a big mixer for this. Right, so the total amount of water I used was 100 ml. I'm going to get this on the surface, then knead this. Just use a bit of elbow grease. Three to four minutes, not much at all. And if you want to make this without the egg, you can skip the egg and add more milk. But there are at least five other naan recipes on my channel here, which don't use eggs. So you could just refer to those. I will leave one of those in the description, just in case you want to make an eggless naan. So the reason is I'm just kneading this to smoothen it out. And you can see it's only been 20 seconds and it's already getting smoother. Now that we are approaching the festive season, all these recipes will be really handy if you're cooking for your family or friends, whatever festival you're celebrating, especially Diwali. And actually I make a lot of Indian food for Christmas too. Look at that. Only been a minute and a half, but I think that is looking pretty good to me. So I'm gonna get a clean bowl now we like I said in the beginning we don't need too much time to rest this which is the beauty of this recipe so 10 minutes I would give it 10 minutes just cover it with a plate is fine and that gives me enough time to wash all this up so you only need to leave this for 10 minutes but I went off and had a cup of tea and I totally forgot about it so it's been there for half an hour obviously it's not a bad thing it, you can leave it for two hours as well um, so it's nice and soft. I just want to show you the beautiful texture. So look how it is Super soft now. Look at that That is a gorgeous gorgeous dough. So I'm just gonna smooth ah, and so smooth beautiful So I'm just gonna divide it. It depends on how big you want the naans to be so I'm gonna make um, 10? Yeah, let's make 10. You could make 12 as well. Actually, that's, yeah, that's about right. That's about right. So, um, just fold them in. Just take a bit of oil if you need to. Just roll them in. Yeah, then do the same with all of these this is a bit smaller than the other one i'm just using a little bit of uh, just any oil you're using in the kitchen it could be sunflower it could be olive rapeseed oil whatever is suitable to you and now i am going to let it sit for five minutes or two minutes while i prepare the lovely garlic butter that's going to go on top so i've got uh, around four tablespoon of um, 
salted butter not unsalted and i've just melted it in the microwave for around 40 seconds so just two to three cloves of garlic finely grated because you don't want them kind of chunky and then i've just got a nice lovely red chili the most important some finely chopped coriander in goes uh, coriander garlic chili coriander butter to finish off the naan right so just taking one portion at a time just get a little oil to make it easier to roll and then you don't want a very thick naan so today I'm making them um, in a pan but this is simply you can just turn the oven on on a medium grill or medium high grill place these on a baking sheet and I have cooked naans like that in um, on my channel so you can find those videos as well but today I'm making them in a pan just for the ease of it I'm just using a normal frying pan you could use a skillet you could use a tawa but all whatever you do it needs to be really nice and hot so making sure that the pan is really nice and hot I'm gonna place the naan and just you'll see the change you'll see it's starting to cook and I'll tell you when it's time to turn it up once you can see the bubbles coming through give it a minute and then you turn it over And now that these are ready, it's time to get this garlic chili butter on. Oh, so good. So good. So good. I don't know what the rest of the song is. Wow. And there, it's ready. It really took couple of minutes to cook these they are so so delicious and the good thing about these naans is that because it's got egg in them um, you can kind of prepare them and they won't go very crispy whereas the other ones that we make uh, on the barbecue or something um, they do crisp up if you don't eat them straight away so that is a good thing about these naans I really hope you will try them obviously I am trying them just for you guys obviously Look how soft and mold, like because of the way the dough is made. Look at that. So you can even make a roll of these. They are, that's how soft they are. So you could put lots of kind of lovely fillings in there. Um, okay, enough talking, Chetna. Eat. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, the chili is hot. Mmm. They are so nice. They are so soft. These are the softest naans I've made. And like I said, you can enjoy them with absolutely anything you like. Um, uh, but don't forget to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, and I'll see you back here very, very soon with another new recipe.